TorahCafe.com. The word rabbi is very interesting. It means my teacher. Now, there have been all sorts of leaders in the world. Military leaders, political leaders, people who wielded power. There have been very rich people who uh, wielded wealth. Judaism said, forget about power. That's not the Jewish thing. Forget about wealth. That's only a means to an end. What really matters in this world is human dignity. How do you reach human dignity? And to this, the Torah gives a radical answer. You achieve human dignity by allowing every person to fulfill their potential. How do you do that? By making sure that everyone has a good education. So Jews tried the most unusual experiment in equality ever undertaken. To repeat, there have been many experiments to create an equal society based on equality of power. The result usually is anarchy. There have been others that saw themselves in terms of equality of wealth, communism, socialism, but they always collapsed. Judaism looks at equality in terms of equal access to education. Now, in such a vision of the world, the real heroes are the teachers. That's why when we wanted to give Moses the highest accolade, we didn't call him Moses the lawgiver or Moses the liberator or Moses the supreme prophet. We called him Moshe Rabbeinu, Moses our teacher. In Judaism, to be a teacher is the highest honor. And that's why the best word we have is rabbi, meaning my teacher.